Hey YouTube, welcome back. Um, today we have this problem. It's called variant uh, valid uh, parentheses. Uh, the problem goes like we have given a string s containing just the characters, these characters, okay, uh, which are all parentheses, and we want to determine if uh, the input string is valid and input string uh, is valid. How the if uh, we have the open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets open brackets must be closed in the correct order every close bracket has corresponding open bracket of the same type so for example this one here we have open bracket must be closed by the same type of the brackets that is right we have the open brackets must be closed in the correct order that's right also it's a correct order every closed bracket has a corresponding open bracket of the same type yeah they are the have the corresponding open bracket of the same type that's right so the three conditions are true so we return true we want to we need to satisfy these three conditions so let's just start to think about how, how to solve this problem because in the first glance it looks like, like a quite hard problem because maybe um let me bring the pen yeah so maybe we try to loop through this and for each one we compare it with the all other uh, values or variables can um, wait a minute can i just make this one bigger can i make this one bigger uh, yeah maximize oh no not <laughs> not like that exit uh how is there a is there like something no i i don't want this one i don't i don't want it like that exit and layouts i don't know it's it's not it's not changing it's not changing but i guess there was something that we could play with the size however let's just i guess maybe we have something here um default lay uh, with the font size yeah i want to make it quite uh, let's make it 18 oh fuck it's too much uh make it um 16 yeah 16 is good okay description okay okay this is better i guess it's quite bigger and better so let's have the pen again so basically in the first glance you think about that we could just take one of them and try to compare it to the all others and once we find someone likes it and we just to try to uh, uh, remove it from the string and try to loop again and it, it if we went that way it first of all we will have time complexity of o of uh, of n squared and it will be quite really hard for us to try to finish this one it will be really complicated by but so the problem maybe look looks quite hard however it's not that hard if you try to think about it in this in this order if we created a table okay let's assume we have a table okay and in this table we have each opening uh, uh, each uh, uh, open brackets and it faced with every close bracket uh, sorry if every uh, close brackets have the value of every op uh, uh, opening brackets like that uh, make another t oh sorry um okay uh, and we will do this one with the all the others let's add one here it will be uh and no okay and also we did this one with the array one but let's just assume that we have done everything here so let's just take another car yeah and uh, yeah 
So the thing that we could do is to try to have a stack, okay, like a stack here. And in this stack, we first loop through the strings, like we have this string here. Let's just put this string here. It's uh, okay. And what we're going to do is that give me give me the the, the color this color again. And what we can do um, in this here, what we do first, we could just loop through this string and find the first element. Okay, if this first element is um, um, an opening, uh, uh, if it's like uh, opening or closing bracket, we find it and we just try to see does the mapping has this bracket so it's 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 worth mentioning um it's worth mentioning to do the map dot has we put um uh, the, the key so we first the has uh, uh, is 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 uh, is searching through the keys only, okay. Um, so from this one, we want to search from the key. So if we we have this one first, does the map has it? No, it's there is no key. They have opening. All the all the keys are closing pr uh, uh, brackets. So what we should do? We should push this one to the the array so our array we will have uh, uh, this element like uh, like this one oh sorry we'll have the opening so right now we going to loop through the closing bracket so I'm saying does this table has a closing yes it has a closing it has this one so because it has a close it I will see okay I have the closing so I want to see if the closing if the uh, the opening of the closing is already there so so if I just find that this one it's map.get the map.get is going through the values map dot has going through the keys map.get going through the values so I want to see if it has the uh, the specific value so I just go map.get this the uh, 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 the and I put the key and the key will reflect the value and we return the value okay and uh, and I will pop this one from the stack okay the stack basically is is uh, we have something called stack and something called queue you can think about the queue is that the queue is uh, first in first out stack first in last out so yeah and i will have videos talks about the stack in the queues in the in details so let's just delete all of that and try to code because i guess if we code it it will be way more easier for us so let's just create a new map let map let map and it will equals new map okay and uh, we will have here uh, the map map dot set and i will put each uh, closing and as a key and each opening as value uh, uh, no and we have uh, this and that and we have uh, this uh, what was uh <laughs> okay i forgot let me just uh, try to remember okay uh, so we want to have um this and we want to have that no no this is wrong So right now we have each 
closing as a key, each, uh, each opening as a value. So first, we want to create a stack, let stack, okay, which will equals an empty array. And after that, we want to create a for loop. I will say let i o oh, let i equals zero. Okay, i uh, less than s dot length, and uh, i plus plus. And I will say uh, let uh, c it will equals s dot character at uh, character at the position i or you can just make c s uh, not c uh, s of i like uh, both of them will work but i'm just trying to find multiple ways for the same thing so right now we have the character so what we should do first of all we have if we say mappings mm, the map if the map dot has uh c okay so right now we are saying if c is a closing bracket if c is a closing if map dot has c that means we have a closing if c is a closing bracket and if c if a, is a closing bracket i at least expect the stack to have its open bracket because otherwise it will not be in the right order so we're saying that if map dot has c i will say let left equals stack it should equals stack dot pop okay however if if the stack if the stack length equals uh, uh, zero I will say first of all if uh, stack dot dot length um, equals equals uh, zero we return false directly okay and I will say let lift equals stack dot pop so I'm getting the uh, uh, the last element of the stack because I ex because we have lost in we have first in uh, uh, lost out and the stack we all the time keep because we all the time wanna wanna have the right order if I have a closing bracket I expect the last element to be the opening bracket of the closing bracket and uh, it it sounds like magic but when we just go one of the examples you it it will be like perfectly normal so say if lift doesn't if lift doesn't equal mapping dot get c if the the uh, uh, if lift doesn't oh sorry this pop up not work if lift doesn't equals mapping dot c that means we have a problem that means maybe the 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 we have something like that something like that that means the uh, the value of the left the lost element doesn't equals the uh, uh the, the 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 value the the value of of um doesn't equal the value of this one that means we have a problem and this is not the right order so we return false So if this if if map has C we do this if map doesn't have C that means we uh, uh, that we means we are in opening bracket so we push that opening bracket to the stack and after that we want to return stack dot we want to know because the thing that 
if we have all like we have all the parentheses and all of them valid the stack should end with the length of zero so say a stack the length equals zero let's just say this one let's just try to run the code it didn't work because we have something called not mapping yeah map run it worked so let's see how this works so first of all let's just take this one as an example so let's assume s equal this number so we create the uh, uh, the map and we have we put every closing bracket as a key and every opening brackets as a value so first of all we start with with looping with the opening so i think if map that has c which is this one so the c at the beginning will equals this it will equal this and because we don't have it because all the keys are closing brackets not opening brackets we push it that we push the, uh, uh, c directly to the stack so the stack right now we will have will be a, like an array and this array have this one have have the opening bracket so we loop again so right now we loop in the second one because i is one so we are in here in this one so i'm saying that if map that has c which is this one let's see in the uh, table and i guess yeah the map have this character it has this closing character so we see that if is not length equals zero that means we have a closing character and we don't have any opening character was uh, in the stack that means maybe you have two more like we have one that means we have one more or or like extra closing character without an opening character so we return false directly and we have so and, and we have this one so if the stack is there we take the last element from the stack because when you push something and we try to f and, and 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 you try to uh, uh to, uh, to to match it we want to make sure that when you pop it, it does in, it's in the same value it's it because we have this one they all the same be the same type so we have this left and we pop it so we pop the last element and we see that if lift which is this one doesn't equals map dot get c however they equals each other as you can see here because get is in we are looping through values has we looping through keys so by this way it works you know so um you could take more examples to make sure that it works you can take this example also because this example it worked but it will fail here because the values are not the same you can take uh, this example which only work yeah you can take as many examples as you want and you just try to think about this problem quite easily is one of the problems that will uh, uh, warm you up when it comes to work with hash tables so yeah that's it for this video and i hope my scriptures get good and see you in future problems